Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to the Photo Booth Supply Co. YouTube channel. Uh, we are back with another live stream. I'm here with Kat from Modern Photo Booth. And today we're going to be talking all about the 10 things that you missed this year, which uh, has been a very interesting list for us to make, to say the least. Uh, it's kind of crazy how many things have come out this year. It's actually really, really surprising. So I can't believe it. Yeah, it's it, like just even looking at it, it's like how... Yeah, it's it's crazy. I think you guys will be surprised by a lot of them. And uh, if you haven't been playing around with salsa in the past year, or maybe you've been on and off, uh, hopefully there's something that we'll cover today that you didn't know about or you didn't realize was there. And uh, I think it just kind of goes to show how many how many really cool and very almost vital features have really shown up. Um, so yeah, especially if you guys haven't used salsa in a long time, definitely. Uh, stay tuned to hear about all the things that have come out and go give them a try after because again i think you guys will be really really shocked at some of the things that have uh have come out so we will start off with number one uh number one is not as big of a surprise i don't think because it's something that's kind of new well it's a surprise it yeah it, it just came out not that long ago um so a lot of you probably do know about it but that's going to be the upload button and actually, I'll, Kat, I'll let you kind of talk a little bit about the upload button and how it's how and why it's so important and why it's such a cool feature that we've uh, that we've implemented. And I'm going to share my screen with you guys here so you guys can take a look at exactly what we're talking about. Perfect. You know what? That I just need to point out that I have never seen your face this big on YouTube, and I just realized how crisp your image is. Now I want to go and change my camera. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the this is totally off topic by the way but if you do have a canon camera you might not know this uh the webcam utility tool like best thing they've come out yes. with this year it's it's nuts and they like the list of cameras that they supported have uh have really really gone up, try so. that next time yeah no for sure so anyway it's completely off <laughs> topic right. like i upload said nothing button. to do with yep. us but if you do have a canon camera check it out so upload button tell us a little bit about the yes. upload button why it's so cool how you can use it and uh We'll just kind of get started there. Perfect. So the upload button is a really interesting feature for a few reasons. One, uh, it allow well, first of all, it allows you to upload any type of graphic or video or photo that you want to any live gallery, whether it's an event that you've created with Salsa or just an event that you've created to make a gallery. So you can use this for a few different ways because a while ago photo booth supply co um released portfolios right which was essentially like a, a gallery of all of your event photos which means that you can link on your website and be like hey you want to see our work click here and then it takes you to a portfolio page that has all of your galleries that you want people to see you can select which events you want to show on there and that you don't want to show on there but if you're like us and we use a lot of different softwares we can't just link to like various different gallery pages. In the past, we had to use something like Pixie Set or like Smug Mug, and we would mm -hmm. upload all of our photos and stuff in there. But now you can do it right in your Salsa app. So you can actually take events from other softwares and put them into Salsa as an event, and then that'll show up on your portfolio. So like that's one really cool way of doing yeah. it. Um, and that's an easy way to update your website with your newest work. For sure. You can also add photos to existing events. So we did a styled shoot right before Valentine's Day. And um, I did it with the Salsa Boost. But I also did DSLR photos, obviously, because it was a styled shoot. So we wanted to take a picture of the whole setup because we had all these balloons and all this other stuff. And so what I ended up doing is uploading all of the DSLR photos into the Salsa app so that we had both the styled photos and the outputs into one gallery so that we could share both of them in that yeah. portfolio. So if you're a photographer yeah. and you have your, your photo booth as like an add on to your business, you can, you know, add all of those photo booths or all of the like photography that you took at that event into your um, photo booth folder and have it all in one library to send to your clients. So there's yeah. a lot of good uses for it. Yeah, no, for sure. And it's 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 also really just a great way to uh, keep everything very consistent, right? That way your photography galleries 
look the same as your photo booth ones. And when it comes to really building your brand and your brand image and your brand identity, having everything very consistent and in one place is always super handy. So yeah, definitely a, a lot of different use cases. I've even seen people do some creative stuff with it. Um, I forget who I was talking to about it. I mean, maybe they'll, they'll show up in the chat and they'll be like, Hey, that was me. Um, but I was talking to somebody who was doing a high school reunion event with their photo booth and what they did was they went and they uploaded a lot of the old high school photos into the gallery as well so when you would look at the gallery it was a mix between you know the original high school photos oh um yeah and all of the new ones so really cool idea That's so cool. yeah and just like little things like that it obviously doesn't have to be a high school reunion but it could be anything that you you know you do and it's just a really cool way to kind of mix all the photos together show off some older ones um and yeah, just, just a really, really cool feature overall. And there's a lot of ways to do it. I even, th I mean, even from a cost saving point, right? If you have multiple places where you store your images, you know, they might not be as expensive, but if you can save that money every month, I mean, it really does add up. I think Smug Mug's cheapest is like nine or 10 bucks a month or something like that. Um, that's 120 bucks a year. So if you're already paying for salsa, I mean, you might as well bring everything together, save a little bit of money and you know, you get that consistent look. So yeah, really cool new mm -hmm. feature. If you haven't tried it out, if you haven't played around with it a little bit, definitely make sure you go ahead and do so. Um, and yeah, that's, that's the upload button. Well, there's one more thing though that yeah. we should add it actually, because yeah. that high school reunion thing actually made me think because the live gallery also has the slideshow feature, Absolutely. which means that you could upload your own, whatever images you want. And then have your own slideshow playing at an event or you yeah. know that's another upsell that you can just have like if people want to do like a slideshow yeah um of any Im images you can automatically do that for them really really easily totally totally yeah no that's a really good idea it's that's a really i mean like and the thing about these features is a lot of them i always talk about them as being you know kind of open-ended features right there's really no right or wrong way to use something like the upload button right so you're really only limited by your imagination and, and what different ideas you come up with. So yeah, definitely a really, really cool feature overall. Something that's new. So again, you know, if you haven't used Salsa in a little bit, definitely make sure to jump in and uh, play around with it because, you know, um, tons of different ways to use it and show it off. So yeah. Anything One else? One more, about actually. Yeah? I do, yes. Yeah, that's why I asked. I was like, because now, now I kind of even have the gears turning too. I'm like, has anybody else told me about how they've been using it so far? <laughs> I, well, I forgot about this one because this is what I was most excited about. Um, video upload. It, it's almost Absolutely. impossible to host small videos anywhere. So you yeah. can actually upload like video files that are pretty large. I can't remember what the maximum amount is. I think it's 25. But, yeah, 25 megabytes yeah. a piece. Perfect. So like for our 360 booth, we don't have like none of our 360s have a live gallery. We use a third party software to do that. But like mm -hmm. I don't have to pay for that anymore. I can just yeah. do that right here. Yeah, no, and video is a really good one. I don't even know how we missed it. Um, it's the end of the week, guys. I don't know. <laughs> so, but yeah. it's it's a it's a really you know you make a really valid point. It's not easy to find places to upload videos. So, and you know, mm -hmm. gifts, boomerangs, stuff like that. All of those at the end of the day are video files. So, um, so yeah, really really cool place to store all of those. Anything else that we're missing? I don't think so. No, that's it. I promise. Okay. If we think of another <laughs> idea, we'll, we'll throw it out there. Or if you guys have any, and that's the thing too, as we go through uh, the live stream today, just as always, if you have any questions, feel free to throw them in the chat. Uh, you know, if there's specific questions about how a feature works or what you can do with it, let us know. We're happy to answer. Um, but in that same vein, if you guys also do use the upload feature and you have your own little cool twists that you like to, uh, to do with it, let us know. Um, Obviously, we'll share it with everybody. So if you want to keep it secret, maybe you don't tell us. But um, <laughs> if you want to share your ideas and, and give some other people some inspiration, you know, just throw that in the chat as well. I want to know where everyone's from. Yeah. I hate that we can't see who's yeah. here. Yeah, I know. You it, want to say hi in the chat? Yeah, Let come on, guys. Say are. hi. <laughs> <laughs> There's 12 of you out there. So <laughs> we did have Amber. Amber Amber said hello. So we have, we yeah. have somebody. Um, so yeah, let us know where you guys are from. And of course, any questions, you know, along the way, just shout them out at us. We're, we're happy to answer as we go along. The next one, right, let's go to the next one. Yeah. number two, this was one that actually really shocked me <laughs> that, right? that happened just in the last year. Uh, I think a lot of people do know about it, um, but maybe not. 
there might be some people who use salsa a long time ago that don't realize that this is something that is uh that is here so i'll let you tell us a little bit about number two <laughs> all right so number two surprisingly is air print so yep. air print came out in between march 2020 and march 2021 um and it you know so i was one of those people who refused to print from their iPad booth before. And then I tried it and now I'm like, damn it. I actually really <laughs> like it because it's really easy. Yeah. And yeah, I used to think it was a lot more complicated. Like every other, I like try every other time I tried printing from an iPad booth, there was a lot of like stability issues and, you know, you had, you would lose certain functions because the way that we also mostly did it was um, through Dropbox and through a hot folder print. So you sure. didn't, you couldn't pick, have any prints. It was just automatic printing. But then the DNP wireless connect module came out mm -hmm. and we, I already have like a billion DNP printers. So I tried it yeah. and I love it. If you guys haven't tried printing with your salsa booth, you really, really should because it is so yeah. easy to connect. So easy. Yeah, but absolutely. Yeah, that was, came out. Yeah, it's it's crazy how fast this year has gone by. And and like I said, you know, if you haven't used Salsa in a while, it's really easy to miss not just one feature, but like a couple of them. So uh, the other cool thing, too, with with AirPrint is you have so much control over how it works. It's not just, you know, do you want to print or do you not want to print? Right. Uh, you can have auto printing. You can set limits. So that way, you know, even when you're doing like a drop off event, right. Uh, where you're not physically there, maybe you're only sold your client on 200 prints or 300 prints or whatever it might be. You can set that limit and the printer will stop. Uh, it's also will stop the printer from printing beyond uh, that limit. So really good way to kind of keep track too of even your costs. Uh, I think it's really easy to, to kind of lose track of how many prints you've actually done <laughs> at an event, right? It just kind of happens. Um, and that's obviously a really important part about pricing your business and pricing your packages and knowing exactly what your costs are. So really great way to keep track of it. Obviously, like I said, you have max uh, prints for an event. You also have max prints per session. So you can control people who <laughs> might want to, you know, print out their picture 700 times. You can stop them from doing that. Uh, like children. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so there's so many really cool parts about AirPrint. It's super easy to set up as well. Like Kat said, you can use something like the DNP wireless uh, connect module. Probably the most popular printer that people use with that is the DNP DS620 as well. So if you already have that printer, um, you know, really, really easy way to implement it. And again, a huge upsell too moving forward. So, mm -hmm. And just because I'm sure some people are wondering, like, how much do you charge for prints? Yeah. Um, like uh, for us, it starts at $300 for an upsell for prints. And sure. like it costs us, I think... 25 ish dollars for like a three hour event. Like, and that's if it's going like pretty hardcore with the prints, the prints, sure. like the cost of prints isn't too, too much. So you make a lot of profit off of your prints. It's a really, really great upsell to have, um, for your photo booth, especially now. Uh, well, I'm not going to give away the next one, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. So the next one is new tap to start and background screens. Again, this is something that's fairly new, uh, but it is one of those updates that is very, very easy to miss unless you're really kind of paying close attention to it. Uh, we have Salsa just got a ton of new uh, tap to start screens and background screens that are included. So if you just go into the tap to start screen library or the background library, you're going to see a bunch of really cool designs. And these are so easy to upsell um, and saves you time, right? You don't have to, yes. you know, if it's a graduation party, we've got a graduation one for you, right? It obviously shows the theme of the event. It's, you know, it matches the overall, just the overall event better, right? Uh, mm -hmm. But it's beautifully designed. You don't have to actually make something yourself. So it's super quick, super easy for you to, to apply it to your event. But having that extra level of customization, people pay a lot of money for it. And that's something that I always stress all the time. Don't just charge for the work that you're, you know, for the time that you're spending making the event, but really sell how much customization, how much personality does your event have for your client? I mean, that is hugely valuable. And there are tons of beautiful designs here to choose from as well. 
And a lot of people ask, like, how do you guys show this? Like, how do you ask, mm -hmm. like, tell your clients what they can pick from? So what we do is we have like a couple that are standard. So if they pay for like our standard package, they get to pick from like three or four of them. And we just um, we'll actually send them like a, a screenshot of the four of them type of thing, like the video files showing like what they look like. Yeah. And if they want to have something that's um, more customized, then we'll send them the whole library to pick from. And then last, of course, is if they want like a totally custom one, then we charge sure. them a lot of money to make them. But you yeah. can actually make these really easily on Canva. Like I would say it's an it's a more advanced feature, but there is a, an article on the support site that Amanda made on how to make an animated uh, tap to start screen. And it's, it's a lot easier than you might think. It's also a lot easier than it used to be before you needed to yeah. know like motion graphics and after effects and <laughs> crazy stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. And it's, it's, I mean, there are just so many options. Like Kat said, you know, a lot of people do ask me that same question. How do I show them off? Load them up on your iPad, take some screenshots, you know, save these source files, whatever you want to do and just show them off to your clients that way. Obviously never show mm -hmm. off what salsa is, what salsa looks like in the, in the back end. You definitely don't want to do that. Um, mm -hmm. But don't be afraid to show off the different designs and say, you know, these are the pre-made ones that we have. We've spent time making them and curating them and, you know, let, letting your client actually choose from them. So again, mm -hmm. personalization is a huge upsell. Don't miss out on it. Don't just give this stuff away. Uh, this is really valuable, um, very valuable levels of customization. So, mm -hmm. and they work on the virtual booth too. Absolutely. Which yeah. Even, yeah. Yeah. And I'll even actually even colder. show Not you guys that. Yeah, you don't want to pick the ones that say tap to start. But. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, but the background ones. Yeah, and actually we talked about this too. I th it was a couple live streams ago. So if you guys have been around for every live stream we've done, you'll maybe remember this. Uh, you can even see here that I chose this one because me and Kat were talking about how there are certain designs that it almost looks like the because of the circular tap to start button uh, for virtual booth, it almost looks like it's part of the of the design, but just like we were saying, all of these are included in that custom interface library. So when you want to, you know, go and customize your, uh, your virtual booth, you can choose any of these. So just to kind of give you guys an idea too, maybe I'll choose, I'll choose this kind of Christmassy themed one right here. Uh, and when I actually <laughs> open up, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> when I actually open up the virtual booth, you'll be able to see that in the background. So even when you are doing these virtual events, obviously it might seem like, ah, tap the start screen. No, that's only for in-person events. No. It's really not. You have uh, these background screens that you can use even for your virtual event as well. So really, really cool uh, new feature and, and definitely something that if you haven't played around with it, definitely go and take a look and check out all the new designs. So. Mm -hmm. And video backgrounds on virtual booth is not something that a lot of softwares have. So it's something Absolutely. you really want to take advantage of. Oh my Lord, those Christmas trees are going so fast. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I didn't realize it until, I, <laughs> until after I put it on there. Oh, that's so funny. Uh, now, maybe don't pick this one. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Choose one that's maybe a little bit slower, uh, yeah. but kind of in the same vein of having some new materials to work with is number four. Yeah, number four, and mm -hmm. that's going to be the marketing materials update, which is brand new. This we just talked about this last week. Uh, so again, if you come to our live streams pretty often, you know this isn't uh, something that's completely new. But if you haven't watched any of our li live streams in a while, maybe you haven't seen some of our emails, and you've just been kind of out of the uh, the photo booth world for a, for a little bit. Um, we just added a the marketing materials to salsa so it's super easy to find them you know don't have to go digging through a dropbox link anymore you can just find everything right here super easily um, but the other thing is we've even added some new stuff um, and Yay. yeah it would it, it's so easy to miss this stuff it really is yep. um, because a lot of times we do update when we add stuff to it right we'll, we'll we usually post something in the Facebook group sometimes we'll send out an email but it's really easy to miss something on Facebook. It's really easy to miss an email if you're not looking out for it, right? Um, so again, if you haven't looked through these marketing materials in a while, maybe even just in the last two or three months, uh, go through. And when I say go through everything, go through everything because you will be surprised at how many things have been added, not just in the professional, like uh, the professional images that you can use for your website and social media, but also the overlays. The photo templates there are a lot of new uh new ones in there i think we were talking about this the other day 
I think you threw a number out there. How many have been added recently? I think it was like, Oh my God, I don't even, it was a lot. Yeah. I mean, I just, so the, the most recent update, I'm totally going to toot my own horn here. Um, <laughs> I'll go and show them the most too. Recent update, okay. <laughs> I'm super, super excited about because like, we actually got to shoot those uh, in my studio. And um, I love doing styled shoots. It's what we've been doing a lot of in, during this like shutdown because we don't have live events. I need content um, and we have the ability to do it. So then, uh, you know, Photo Boost Supply Co. asked me to do their latest backdrop release and these are the photos and this boho one might be my most absolute favorite thing in the whole wide world and so you guys have access to all of those photos mm -hmm. um, you can start marketing with that for spring and all of those backdrops are available but like also like how cute is this gumball one and it's so easy to do mm -hmm. like those balloon garlands I, everyone has a balloon maker you know in their area and like a balloon garland like that if you team up with someone, you can sell that for like easily seven fifty to a thousand dollar upgrade, and it won't cost that much money to do it. But like mm -hmm. they come, they install it, we outsource it because, well, I'm allergic to latex, so I can't even go near those things. <laughs> Anytime we have a balloon set up, I'm like, stay away. Oh man, oh. Man. <laughs> but it's so cute, right? Like I it love is. balloons. Yeah, it's so cute. No, all of these are really cool, and and we obviously didn't include it because we're really focusing on the. Um, on the changes within the actual software itself. But like Kat said, these are all showing off the new backdrops. So again, you might have missed this. Like there's so much that has come out in the last year and even within the last couple months, it's crazy because I don't even, we didn't even include everything. We're just talking about the top 10 things, right? Um, so if it's been a while, I can't stress it out enough and you're gonna hear you're, you're gonna hear me say this over and over throughout this entire live stream. So I apologize in advance, but uh, go and check out everything. Like go to the Photo Boost Supply Co. website, check out these new backdrops. Um, mm -hmm. And in, even with that said, for your, like for your own website and stuff, you might already have your website made, right? And your website might be beautiful and that's perfect, right? But it's not always a terrible thing to go through and just change out a couple images, right? Give your site, uh, your website yeah. and your social media a refresh, right? You don't have to start from refresh, zero. You know? Yeah, you certainly do not mm -hmm. have to start from zero and completely start over. Leave a lot of it how it is, but just go and change out some images. People notice that kind of stuff. Um, yes, they do. They I know do. that whenever I go to a website that I go to a lot, like I, I notice right away when something's been changed and it's refreshing, right? It, it shows that it's, uh, up to date and, and things are current. So especially with a lot of people maybe not knowing that you are still around, maybe it's been a slower year and you haven't been posting as much on social media, uh, just kind of get out there and refresh things a little bit. We talked about this in a lot more detail uh, two or three weeks ago at this point, but um, that's basically the gist of it. Just get out there, post some new pictures, show things off, show people that you're 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 still alive, you're still here, you're still <laughs> you're still running your booth, uh, and that you have some yep. new stuff that you can offer too. And there's another one that I want to point out because it was I actually didn't even know this existed, but there's like uh, little videos in the marketing material too, yeah. and they're in a video confessional booth sample in there. I was like, what? How did I not know this existed? <laughs> really? That's a really I cool also one. didn't know. You're, it's you. You're talking yeah. about like a beer. Oh, or oh wow. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. Wow, cool. I mean, yeah. So, and there's so much. This should there. just go to show you. I am in the marketing materials, and I didn't know. So, yep. <laughs> again, if you haven't been in these in a while, and I'll, honestly, I didn't know about these videos too. I think, like I was saying before, the nice thing about having the marketing materials included in the salsa app now is it's much, it's much easier to go through and look at everything, right, and really know what's here. Um, when it was all just in the Dropbox folder, obviously a lot of the stuff was also there, uh, but it's, it wasn't as easy to actually visualize and see what a lot of it is. Whereas now you can just kind of see, oh, wow, we, there are videos or, Hey, you know, there is virtual booth, uh, marketing materials and, and stuff like that. So yeah, definitely come and, yeah. and make sure you check this stuff out. Um, and this is always getting updated. So every couple of weeks, every couple of months, just go in and take a look, you know, maybe nothing's changed, but maybe a lot has changed. So you never know. Yep. Definitely. Okay, we got to move on to the next one. Yeah, I think yeah, we're yeah. Time. <laughs> we got so excited about marketing materials. I know, I know. We're it's it's bad. We're both very chatty, so <laughs> this is gonna be hard to get through. <laughs> this might be a longer live stream, guys. But <laughs> yeah. So number five, Kat, I'll let you talk about number five. 
Okay, so number five is one I know everyone was really excited about, but it was yeah. 120 second videos with sound recording. So this means that your videos can now be up to two minutes long uh, and your guest or user can actually stop it midway. So it doesn't have to be two minutes long, but that's a long time yeah. for a video. And the best part is, is that even if it is two minutes long, you can still email it, which yeah. is really really hard to do with a video yeah. video has to be on well any file has to be under 25 megabytes before it so it could be emailed mm -hmm. so this is um very very good update this is great for testimonial booths whether it's virtual or in person um video guest books at weddings like i think this is huge and i know a couple of people have tried it out there's also a youtube video where i tested out a microphone mm -hmm. that will you know really it works really really well in loud environments you guys can hear my awful singing too if you really want to check it out <laughs> not my forte but yeah this is a really great update because even yeah. but like before the pandemic hit we were getting a ton of requests for this for weddings yeah. and i was really really excited to see this one come out no absolutely and it's it's like you said it's great for video guest books it's great for confessional booths i mean there this is one of those features that very similar to the upload button there are so many ways that you can util utilize this feature. You can really take advantage of it and think of just some really creative out of the box ideas. Um, and those ideas have a lot of value, right? These are, you know, it's little features like this that a lot of your competition might not offer. Um, and that's why I, I always also stress, you know, when it comes time to post on social media and you're advertising your booth, don't just advertise that you're a photo booth advertise what your booth is capable of doing because a lot of people do not know this we told a story about this i think it was last week right um or maybe two weeks ago it was when we were talking about the backdrops and you were talking about uh some of your models who are younger right they're like 20 or 21 <laughs> they didn't know about boomerang right and these are younger people so if younger people don't know that if the, these photo booths that are capable text messaging. oh yeah, text message text sharing <laughs> yeah but it yeah message their boomerang they were like blown away that this yeah. machine could take a boomerang and text it i'm like really <laughs> it's and it's so such a simple thing and a lot of times that's you know that's the bad part about being in this business and about surrounding yourself with photo booths all the time um because of that you know because it's super yep. super easy to uh to to forget that we know this stuff but other people don't so yeah just make sure that whenever you're advertising your booth and and moving forward when you're doing marketing on social media talk about what your booth is capable of doing because a lot of people don't know about it yep they really don't and even like I like to even make a list sometimes because yeah. sometimes if you're trying to like think of um, social media, like Instagram posts or something like that, literally make a list of all of the features. And that's like yeah. a whole like month and a half of posts right there. If you just do one post about a feature every single day that your yeah. booth can actually do. Yeah, absolutely. Like and, and that's like if you do it every day. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. So you can actually ride that out for a lot longer. And in the marketing material, there's pretty much one photo or something that's going to represent each one of the features in in the app for you yeah definitely check out the sample captures this one does take you to the dropbox just because there's like a ton of videos there's a ton of stuff in here but um that sample content folder is a really really good one there is like cat said samples of really everything in there so Mm -hmm. You know what? Actually, our yeah. next one, we already kind of covered it. <laughs> yeah, we kind of talked about it. I don't think we never said it was one of the official 10. So we'll we'll kind of touch oh. on it a little bit. And that's the portfolio. Um, mm -hmm. The portfolio, again, this was one of those features that I can't believe it has come out within this year. It's insane. Um, yep. But kind of like what we were talking about before with the upload button, the portfolio, it, they really kind of go together in a lot of ways, but they don't. All, they also don't have to, right? Uh, the portfolio mm -hmm. is just a super easy way to show off your work, uh, and you can find it in the manage account section. That's why I think a lot of people maybe miss it because you know, manage account section. That's like your billing and your password and stuff like that, and you might not really mess around in there too much. Uh, but that is where the portfolio lives. So if you go into the portfolio settings. If you know how to do a live gallery, you know how to set up the portfolio because the, the setup is basically the same in terms of customization. You can password protect it. You have your accent colors. Uh, branding is is all very similar as well. You know, your logo and cover photo and call to action button. But a couple of things that you might not even know about when it comes to the portfolios, you can actually even embed this portfolio directly into your website. Uh, so you can have kind of like a, a, you know, your portfolio is part of your entire cohesive website. Um, 
But if you don't want to do that, you don't have to either. You can always just link it separately. Click on view portfolio, copy that link, and you'll see all of the different events that you actually uh, have included here. Um, even events that don't have photos, if you really wanted to, maybe you want to put them in, you know, before the event happens, you could do that. Uh, so really a really good uh, and easy way to show off your work. I always talk about, especially if you're, um, if you're just starting out and maybe your website's still kind of a work in progress, at least at the very least use this portfolio feature so you can show off your work while you are finishing up your actual website, uh, with all yeah. of your content and information and stuff like that. So, well, yeah, cause it has like your, the contact us and yeah, yeah. And all that. So yeah. you can send people there and they can literally see everything in action. So Absolutely. yeah, it's a very cool feature. Yeah. And it's, like I said, super easy to set up. I mean, you could set this up in five minutes. Um, and then whenever you want to include an event in that portfolio, you know, maybe I want to include this one, right? I can go in and just click include in portfolio and you can turn that on and off whenever you want as well. So you can always keep your portfolio up to date, uh, maybe remove some of your older events that maybe don't reflect your work as much anymore, or, you know, don't show off all the features you actually want to show off. Um, so you can totally turn that stuff on and off and it'll show up right away in your portfolio. So really, really cool feature there. And that's actually a good point that you make. Like you can turn off what you like, don't want to show like mm -hmm. older stuff, always show what you want to book. I can tell yeah. you that we've done some events that will never see the light of day on anything <laughs> that you see for us. Cause like, yeah, you know, you're not always, always going to deal with your like ideal setup, but absolutely you can the more you post about it, the more of that you actually end up getting. And then you still will get a couple that you're like, nope. Yeah. Yeah. No, <laughs> for sure. For sure. No. And that brings up a really just kind of a, you know, we talked about this again in, in one of the older live streams. I keep referring back to these live streams, but we've covered so many topics. So if you haven't checked so them much. out or you missed it, they are all live on our YouTube channel. So you can go back and watch those. Same thing applies to this one. Um, but but yeah, if you, you know, a lot of people are always worried about when it comes to pricing and being competitive, you don't have to be <laughs> if you don't want to. You can be the luxury photo booth in your area if that's what you want to be. Yes. You just want to make sure your portfolio reflects that. And there's nothing wrong with doing that. Like Kat mm -hmm. said, you will probably get those events that maybe don't show off your luxury <laughs> uh, photo booth business, which is fine if those happen, right? You just don't post those and you don't really, uh, you know, show those off. So again, just kind mm -hmm. of an offshoot of that topic. Make sure you keep your portfolio up to date. It's a really, uh, it's it's important and it, it, it helps book and, and show people that you're still out there and you're still active. So, yep, definitely. Okay. Uh, did we cover everything on portfolio? Yeah, I already yeah. talked about the yeah. slideshow feature too. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I forgot that we had that one too. <laughs> we should have reorganized this list a bit better. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Whatever. As long as we cover everything and you guys know everything that you might have missed. <laughs> and again, too, yeah. before Kat goes on and tells you guys about number seven, uh, if you have any questions as we go through, if there's something that maybe we're talking about that is so new to you, you didn't realize it existed and you have some questions, th feel free to throw them into the chat. Uh, we are always more than happy to help out with it. So Kat, take it away. Number seven. All right. <laughs> no, you're good. Oh no, my, my headphones are uh, cutting in and out. So I lost you there for a second. Uh, I'm assuming you're telling me to go to number seven. Yep. So I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So print and photo templates. This yeah. actually happened in the last 12 months too. So when Salsa first Absolutely came out, insane. it was meant to be a social digital photo only. So it only supported Square. And now it has print templates just, you know, so that you can actually use your printer, but you don't need to. Well, you know, there's actually a good discussion in the owner's group. Somebody actually asked that. They're like, how do you use these? Do you need to have a printer to use them? And you absolutely do not need to have a printer to use them. You can use them digitally as well. It's just mm -hmm. another way to present the photos. You know, if you want to have more than one photo, if you want to do a three photo template, um, or if you do have a printer, then you have the opportunity to give people a nice takeaway that's really beautifully branded and, and designed. And there's like hundreds and hundreds of them available to you once again in the marketing material, which is now right in the app. And again, you can uh, adjust these in Canva or Photoshop. There's all of those tutorials are available on the support site as well. But like these are beautiful templates yeah. and people really, really like those. Yeah. And and yeah, you brought up a really excellent point. Doesn't have to be actually printed. Uh, you can totally use these on social media. And they just this is 
kind of like when you think of a photo booth, this is what I think of, you know, I think of the mm-hmm. photo strips and I think of the four by sixes and things like that. Yeah. So again, these, you know, the ones that I have up on screen right now are just some uh, sample ones using some of the templates that are included in the marketing materials folder, but really just kind of gives you an idea of the different ways that you can use them. Um, and again, to really find how to do this, you just go into the capture mode section, click on this little gear icon, uh, and then you just choose which which template you actually want to use from within there. You upload your design and all of that. Uh, and again, you don't have to make these designs from scratch. We have a bunch of them. They're right next to the overlays here where you can go in and uh, when you click it, it'll take you to the Dropbox folder. You can download all of the different designs and templates in there. So really, really cool feature. Again, one of those things I can't believe has only been out for uh, a year at this point. It's, it's crazy. I know. It's crazy. It's crazy. Again, if you haven't used Salsa in a while, go and check it out. Uh, you will be blown away with all the stuff that's that's there that wasn't there before. So, and then the other one is uh, masks. Yeah, another another one that just came out. <laughs> another one that yep. I still also can't believe. Um, crazy, crazy value there, right? Um, mm-hmm. it, especially now, you know we're kind of moving into the post pandemic world in a lot of places, which is good, uh, knock on wood. Right. Um, but with that said, a lot of people still aren't going to want to use physical props. Right. Uh, and so masks are a way to still get that upsell to still charge, to still show that value of having something fun and interactive that you can use, but without having to have something physical. And there are a ton of really cool designs here that you can choose from. Um, yeah, and some of the ones like the the ones at the bottom there um i'm actually waiting for my stream to catch up so that i can align <laughs> it because i'm on a delay over here but like the blue and black one that kind of mm-hmm. looks like a square that one is so cool i actually didn't know what it was and then i clicked on it and took a picture and it's like one of my favorite pictures now because it gives you like this like um bioluminescent like yeah pattern on your face it's yeah it's really really cool yeah and this the one actually one even in, yeah <laughs> the gold one is like it's cool it scares me too though um but no yeah. some of these two like the the blue one the preview window it doesn't do it justice uh and again no. when it comes to showing these off next time you have friends and family over have everybody take a picture using a different mask save those pictures and next time your client is asking about them or next time you're telling your client about them show them some real world examples uh people Mm -hmm. love to see them in the real world because again if you show or you just try to explain what some of these are you're not going to sell me on them but just like kat said that blue one it's so cool i you know like i hadn't actually tried it either um and it's one of those things that it's it's a very very cool design that i can see myself using in the future so yeah definitely go in and play around with these uh, I think you'll you'll be surprised by a lot of them, and it's also a really tremendous value for your own clients. So, and they work on virtual booth too, which absolutely. is the best part. Absolutely, yep. yeah. Glam mode as well. Uh, I know that's not part mm-hmm. of uh, part of our list, but glam mode is uh, something that works on virtual booth. So, and that's relatively new. So, if you haven't played around with it in a while, or played around with virtual booth, definitely go in and try that out. Yep. Okay. Number nine. Last one. Number nine. Number nine. Yeah, that was Wait, number eight. Number ten. Oh. On the next page. <laughs> <laughs> I I told you guys it's the end of the week. Okay. Wow. <laughs> it's the afternoon. Both of us before it's after this, lunch. We were like coffee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, coffee, please. Yeah, really, really some espresso shots. If anyone wants to send us some espresso shots, no. <laughs> <laughs> number nine. Okay. Hands-free mode one. and QR code sharing. So Somebody mentioned it in the comments if we're going to be talking about QR code. We are going to be talking about QR code uh, and hands-free mode. So, Kat, I'll let you talk about it. I know you've used it quite a bit. And uh, as you're talking about it, I'm going to show you guys on screen where you can find these features and where you should enable them. So, Yes. So hands-free mode is obviously going to be very popular uh, in the next couple of months. So even if you are in the U.S. and doing events, you probably don't want people touching your equipment unless you're <laughs> going to sanitize it in between mm-hmm. uh, until everyone gets, you know, vaccinated and all that good stuff. If that's, mm-hmm. if that's their jam, then uh, things aren't going to go 100% back to normal for a little bit. But yeah. that doesn't mean that we can't do photo booths safely. So the hands-free mode is actually excellent for this. We've used it a, a, quite a few times. Uh, we don't have many events, but like I did a grad drive through booth and mm-hmm. it worked amazingly and people got it, right? Which was really yeah. nice. Yeah. And then 
so that makes it hands-free. And then the QR sharing makes it even the sharing portion to be hands-free. And it still works with the offline mode, which is just baffling to me. But yeah. You know, the developers are really smart, so they figured yeah. it out. <laughs> but you just wave your hand in front of the booth yeah. and then it starts, takes your photo, and then the QR code shows up. You scan that with your phone and then the sharing actually gets taken into your phone. People can still put in their uh, email and their phone number. It yep. still gets collected by the photo booth and then they have the sharing directly on their phone. So it's genius. And you can use the QR code without hands-free mode too. Mm -hmm. You can just have that be your sharing feature, yeah. uh, whether you have the touch to start screen enabled or not. So yeah. I, I think a lot of people are gonna use this. Absolutely, and and you know, even, even now, like if you're doing like a permanent install or even in the future, right? When you do a permanent install, like especially like at a mall or a coffee mm -hmm. shop or a retail store, whatever, there are a lot of people that go through those, right? And I know yeah. that, if I go to a store and this, I'm talking pre COVID, right? If I go to a retail store, I'm not usually too, uh, not usually too, um, you know, overjoyed to go and touch something that a billion other people have touched. Right. <laughs> so even having something like hands-free mode in a post COVID world and just for normal events in the future, if it's like a, a public event and, you know, multiple people will be interacting with the booth, it's still a really incredible feature. Uh, and, and I do think yeah. in a lot of ways, people just feel better about using something that they don't have to physically touch. Um, so definitely a, a really cool feature overall, something that even after uh, everything goes back to normal, like Kat was saying, it's still going to be super useful. So if you haven't played around with it yet, definitely give it a shot. It is a really, really cool feature there. Uh, so someone asked, there's a couple of questions actually, yeah. uh, but Naomi asked if uh, it works for single shots only. So it will actually only, it works for one mode, yeah. meaning that you can pick either photo or boomerang or video or GIF, but you unfortunately can't have the selection because in order to have a selection, they have to pick one with their hand. So you just this works best with um photo booths that are set up to have like one mode one filter or no filter uh if you wanted to enable a mask then either everyone gets the same mask or they get no mask type of thing we so like we don't really give people options <laughs> <laughs> our booths are generally like this is what you get guys yeah um so you know, it might be just a matter of like educating your client like if you really want to use the hands-free mode make sure that you know, we were only doing the one selection. It's also under, like, doesn't complicate things. Like how many times do people stood there going like, oh, what prop I want to use? And they're like staring at the yeah. booth for like five minutes going yeah. through all of them. Yeah. Um, but I also say that this is one of the easiest hands-free modes out of all the other photo booth softwares that I've seen out there, not only to like set up, but to have yeah. people understand. Cause some of the other ones I've seen, holy cow, they are complex and trying to explain to someone like, please go to this URL and complete these 17 questions before you go to the photo booth is yeah. not, not good. No, for sure. And this one, all you have to do is just literally stand in front of it, wave mm -hmm. your hand, you're good to go. Like it's, it's very, very easy to do. So, uh, again, if you haven't played around with it, give it a shot at home. Um, you know, like Kat said, there are certain limitations of it, but those limitations, you know, they're, they're things that are, you know, they're kind of common sense in a lot of ways, right? Like, you know, if you can't touch things, you can't have multiple options. Um, mm -hmm. So just play around with it. But even with those limitations in place, it does not take away from the value uh, that it provides, especially when we are talking about doing like a permanent install, right? I keep going back to that. But if you do a permanent install in a restaurant, especially now, that restaurant's also going to want to avoid, you know, spreading germs, especially when there's food and people are eating, right? And so having something like yeah. this, it could be a huge upsell to them, right? A huge... Uh, a huge additional value that they might not even have realized initially. So, yeah. And I have a permanent install that uses this um, at a bridal store. It's been there for months, I nice. guess, like actually six plus months at this point. Uh, and they love it. Like, I'm pretty sure that they use it more than their customers do. Because <laughs> we look at the gallery and we're like, do they do anything other than pose in front of the photos all <laughs> No, but that's great. I mean, really, it's 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 easy enough to use that you want to keep using it, yeah. right? And that's just a really, uh, a really excellent testament to that, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they love it. So yeah, you definitely can do it for uh, permanent installs and it's really easy for them to use. And we use a beautiful black and white filter. Anyways, I really love that one. It's yeah. one of my favorite installs we've ever done. 
That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, it's a feature. It's uh, yeah. I don't know. There are a couple of these new features that I think we could talk about for hours. But um, yep. if there are any of these features that you want to hear more in detail, and we don't already have a video or content about it, you know, let us know, and mm-hmm. we can. Me and Kat are delighted to sit and chat about our favorite salsa features <laughs> for an hour. Yeah. <laughs> And last but not least, number 10 is Virtual Booth. And I'm sure most people have heard about Virtual Booth. Uh, It has been something we've been talking a lot about because it has been super trendy. It's been getting more and more popular. More and more people are really knowing how it works. Uh, At this point, it's March of 2021, right? At this point, most people have had to interact in a virtual way in the past year. And so more people are just understanding the concept and why it's useful and and why that that virtual engagement is so important. Um, Mm -hmm. Now, with that said, the virtual booth that maybe, you know, maybe again, you haven't tried out Salsa in a while, or maybe you haven't tried out virtual booth in a while. The virtual booth that you tried out last year is not the same as the virtual booth that is out right now. Uh, And Kat, again, I'll let you kind of talk a little bit more about this and just the different ways that you can upsell it, the different features that are available now. Uh, It really is pretty incredible. Yeah, so the virtual booth um, for us has been like huge. March alone, we've booked over 30 events. Like I can't even get over how many events just came out of nowhere in March. And people are not getting rid of virtual events by any stretch of the imagination. Yes live events are coming back but virtual is here to stay for a while so you know you this is something that even if you don't want to start hustling virtual booths like as your full-time gig Mm -hmm. you still need to know about this you still need to offer this to your clients as an add-on feature to live events because it's just such a and if you didn't know you can do that you can actually just enable the live um, event to have a virtual booth and all those images go into the same live gallery and people who are there in person can actually print the um the virtual booth yeah. photos on site as long as they're square cropped and the rest of your like as long, it has to have the same frame in order to be able to print it but it's really it's such a cool feature to be able yeah. to bring virtual and in person together so that's a really huge thing and you know the salsa virtual booth has a lot of amazing features again video is one feature that no other that I can think of no other virtual booth has software that has that I know of and trust me I've tried them all at this point um, <laughs> at least yeah. I feel like I have <laughs> yeah <laughs> but you know like the glam is another one that's really really fantastic and they're always releasing I feel like every couple of weeks there's a new update that comes out with a new feature or yeah. something so it's just going to get better and better yeah and virtual booths don't have to be cheaper because you know you're still technically you have a thousand credit background removal credits that are included every single month for free mm-hmm. so every month you get an, a new thousand they don't carry over but you get mm-hmm. a thousand every single month yeah. Every other software charges you for this. Um, but just because it gets it's included in your package doesn't mean that you shouldn't charge for it. Because, you know, if you go over your thousand, then you do have to pay for credits afterwards. But people yeah. understand that there is a charge for like background removal credits. And that's the AI background removal so that, you know, you can get rid of all of this and have some beautiful background and maybe a beach or something like that. Yeah. Uh, and that is, the background removal is a huge one. People love having the consistency in their gallery or options of background removal uh, for their virtual booth. And we've been actually using Salsa app a ton lately because we've been able to replace a lot of our more expensive softwares <laughs> with our, our Salsa booth, uh, virtual booth. And our clients are absolutely loving it. So if you haven't tried it out, try it out. There's a bunch of like, you just need to set up a demo and put it on your website, but yeah. there's like a bunch of different um, tap to start screens that you can use all of the, all of the like branding capabilities that it has. Like it takes like five minutes to set up. Actually, it's probably even way faster than that. It's yeah. probably like three minutes, which is how yeah. beautiful that is. And I it's easy. That. It's easy too. Like if you know how to set up a salsa event, you already know how to set up a virtual event. And that's like exactly. that's the nicest part about it. There's no learning curve really um in terms of like setting it up and, and getting everything going. Um and mm-hmm. Kat brings up a, a, an amazing point. Hybrid events, they're not going anywhere. Like I, nope. there's so many different ways, you know, you think of a wedding where people have family or friends are, that are in a different state, different country, different province, different wherever. It's a really great way to be able to bring those people together without physically being together. And that's something that 
COVID or no COVID is not going to go anywhere, right? That's something that's going to stick around and it's going to be a feature that you can definitely upsell uh, moving forward. So, yes, I've been in like, I spent a lot of time on Clubhouse talking to planners from all over Canada, US, international, like you name it. And we're all, you know, some of them are talking about what they're planning for like 2022. Mm -hmm. And all of them are saying that they're doing in person with a component of virtual. So, yeah. We, we know for a fact that virtual is not going anywhere, at least for the next two years. And then I think from there, it's just going to grow even more. You know, people like for me, there's so many conferences I wanted to go to. I was never able to because I can't dedicate a whole week of like flying there and then, you know, going to the conference and then flying home. Um, so when it's virtual, it's like I can pick and choose which ones I want to go to. I just log on. I log off. So that's why I think we're going to see a huge huge uptake in these hybrid events uh, going forward because it just really does open the door for a lot of people. So you need to be able to offer your clients something that will help service the, their needs. In this case, it is hybrid. So yeah, yeah, and yeah. On, start doing demos. <laughs> yeah, no, and, and I mean, to really just kind of wrap that up as well, there's no limit to how many virtual events you can have at once. So just like Kat said, yep. she booked 30 virtual events. They could all be on the same day. <laughs> and it it they doesn't can. matter. <laughs> yeah. And it doesn't matter. It'll work. And that's where even moving yeah. forward, virtual events are going to be huge because maybe you're double booked. Right. And so you can say, Hey, you know, what we can do is, you know, I can get you the same package, but since there's no physical setup, I'll give you five hours instead of three. Right. Mm -hmm. You can book another event on that same day and it really runs itself. Right. You can watch it if you want, you can check in on it and it's probably a good idea to do so just to make sure. But uh, there's no limit to how many you can actually do. So definitely a, a huge, huge thing there. So someone did mention something about background removal being slow on the virtual booth. Um, so that is very dependent on your internet connection though. Cause I know that we have yeah. tested this quite a few times. Like it ranges anywhere from like 10 seconds to like, well, I mean, it can get pretty long if you have really bad internet. So yeah, yeah. we, um, you can reach out to the support team though and, talk to them about that if you think that it's like really really slow they can maybe take a look to help you see like what that's all about but yeah it generally be about 10 seconds to remove that background yeah and you it, have to remember it's like sending it to, sorry i keep cutting you off no you're totally it's sending it to like a cloud like <laughs> analyzing the photo and then like cutting it out and then putting it back around and, and sending it back so it's very internet dependent yeah, absolutely. And no, and you really kind of said everything I was going to say anyway. But one thing you can do too is is try it on your computer. If you're trying it on your phone, uh, maybe you're trying it on like an LTE or a 4G connection, 5G now, I guess, in, in a lot of places as well. Um, it, if you're trying it on one of those connections, give it a shot on your home internet as well and just see if there's a difference there. It might just be your internet connection. Um, so, and, and a lot of times too, we, we it's easy to... Um, to kind of assume that our internet is, and I'm not saying that this is the case, right? But it's really easy to assume our internet's good because it's loading Facebook just fine, but obviously processing a photo and sending it to a server somewhere is definitely more of a, of a data heavy process than just loading some stuff on Facebook or text message or whatever it might be. So again, not saying that that's necessarily the case, but definitely uh, if you find yeah, that it's abnormally, support. yeah, just reach out to support and we can, you know, they'll, they'll be more than happy to take a look at it. So. So yeah, those are the 10 things that you might have missed this year. Um, and there's probably at least one feature that you have missed. Again, if you haven't played around with Salsa in a while, if it's been over a year, there are features that we didn't mention today just because we don't have time. There has been a ton of stuff that has come out in a year. And if we gave you guys a full-blown list of every single thing, we'd be here for a while. <laughs> um, so... Which, you know, if you guys want that, let us know. We're happy to do that. But um, it, again, yeah, I can't stress enough. Make sure you play around. Go and just mess around in settings and in sections of Salsa that maybe you haven't before. Um, mm -hmm. And just really check out all the things that you, you might have missed. And just think of all the different ways that you can really advertise it. Start advertising it as well if you haven't. So Yeah, and I'd love to know, like, did you guys know about all these updates? Yeah, right. Yeah, let us know. Leave a comment or, or throw it in the chat. Yeah. yeah, it's it's <laughs> sorry, I Go think ahead. we no, we had a like <laughs> we both this got is a my internet. Yeah. yeah. My internet is slow now. Remember how I told you I was gonna do that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
no but yeah leave us a comment and uh or throw it in the chat and let us know if there's anything that surprised you or shocked you that you weren't you know surprised or you weren't surprising um again thursday guys it's it's almost the end of the week uh, <laughs> let us know if there's something that shocked you or that you weren't expecting um and we'll also be you know sending out an email so maybe if you jumped in kind of late on this look for our email and we'll talk about everything in a little bit more detail and uh, share some links to some support articles where you can really find out um, a lot more information about each of these features. So, so yeah, anything yeah. I missed, Kat? No. <laughs> we definitely made it through the whole list. I'm surprised uh, we did it in an hour, to be honest with you. I'm shocked. Me too. I think we could have talked a little bit more about some of these. Like marketing material, yeah. I can go on for hours and Absolutely. hours. Like. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. It's... But I think we're good. Yeah. Well, thank you guys again for joining us. We will be live on our Facebook page next week. So uh, if you are a salsa booth owner and you haven't joined the Facebook group yet, what are you waiting for? Go <laughs> go join the Facebook group. Uh, yes. And we will be live yes. next week talking about uh, some, some more stuff. I don't know what we're going to talk about yet. So if you have any suggestions, just let us know and we'll... Uh, We'll definitely throw that into the live next week. Otherwise, catch us here in two weeks. Uh, again, this is always the part where I sound like every YouTuber ever. But if you haven't, make sure that you like the video, subscribe to our channel. And if you want to be notified whenever we are live or we have uh, new videos in the future, just make sure you press that bell. Um, I think that's it for me. Any last comments You're from you, You're supposed to do like finger pointing and stuff when you say yeah that. yeah i know i need to add like uh i'll ne maybe for the next live i'll add an effect so that when i say it it'll have the little subscribe button on the screen with like a little bell that chimes Perfect. or something well we'll spice it up for for the next one <laughs> for you guys awesome, awesome. Right. Well, thank you guys so much again for joining us and we will see you in the next one talk to you guys next time bye